Hi, it's Maria from Pattern Paradise. Welcome. Today we'll be working on the Circle of Life Afghan Square. This is a 12 inch Afghan Square that can be used for a throw, a pillow, a purse, or many other projects. For my square, I'll be using three colors of worsted weight yarn and a size H or a five millimeter hook. You could use other weights of yarn, just make sure that you match the hook to the size of the yarn that you're using. To get started, for round one, we'll start with a magic circle. Make a loop around your fingers, pull the yarn through, and chain it one to lock it in. Now we're going to be working single crochets. Insert the hook in the center, pull out a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. We'll be making 12 single crochets in the center of the magic circle. When you get to the end, you can pull the tail a little bit to tighten the center hole and then join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. And let's move on to round two. For round two, we're going to chain three, which counts as a half double crochet plus a chain one, and then work a half double crochet in the next stitch. To work a half double crochet, you'll yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, through all three loops at once. Chain one, and then work a half double crochet and a chain one in the next stitch. You can repeat this all the way around, half double crochet and a chain one in each stitch. When you get to the end, join with a slip stitch to the second chain of the beginning chain three. And now fasten off your yarn because we're going to be changing colors for the next round. Pull the beginning tail tightly to close that hole in the center. And I like to secure it right away so that it doesn't keep opening on me. Now take the loose end and to make a nice finished edge, thread that tail into your tapestry needle. Insert it in the next stitch, not the one that you're working on, but the next stitch. Pull it through and then put the needle through the center of the last stitch that you made and pull that to the back. And you'll see that you have a nice clean V that looks like all the other V's in each of the other stitches. At this point, you should have 12 half double crochets and 12 chain one spaces all the way around. Now we'll move on to round three. For round three, pick up your next color and join it in any chain one space. When I join a new color, I like to pull both loops, both ends of the, of the yarn through because I think it secures them better. Chain two, and then double crochet in the same space. This is going to be your first cluster stitch. The beginning stitch is slightly different than the other clusters. Chain two, and now you'll be working a cluster and a chain two in each chain one space all the way around. To work a cluster, make a double crochet, but don't finish it. Leave two loops on the hook. Work another double crochet in the same space and don't finish it. Now yarn over and pull through two loops twice. Chain two. And again, work the cluster in the next chain one space. Pull through two loops and pull through the last two loops. And chain two. Work this all the way around to the end of the round. When you get to the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the very top of your beginning cluster. Now 
At this point, you'll have 12 clusters and 12 chain spaces. For round four, you're going to chain one, single crochet in that first cluster, and then work three single crochets in the chain spaces. So you'll work a single crochet in each cluster and three single crochets in each space all the way around. And join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round to complete the round. You'll have 48 single crochets in this round. For round five, chain five. This counts as a half double crochet and chain three. Skip two stitches and then half double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, skip two stitches and repeat. Have a half double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three and skip two. Repeat this all the way around to the end. And when you get to the end, you'll be joining with a slip stitch to the second chain of the beginning chain five. You will have 16 half double crochets and 16 chain spaces in this round. In round six, we establish the square shape by forming four corners. We do this by chaining eight, which counts as a double crochet and a chain five, and then double crochet in the same half double crochet that you started. This will form the first corner. Make two double crochets in the next chain three space. Half double crochet in the next half double crochet. Two half double crochets in the next chain two space. A half double crochet in the next double half double crochet. And two half double crochets in the next chain space. Half double crochet in the next half double crochet. And two double crochets in the next chain space. To form the next corner, double crochet, chain five, and double crochet in the next half double crochet. Now repeat the sequence for the next side. Two double crochets in the first chain space, half double crochet in the next half double crochet, two half double crochets in the next chain space, half double crochet in the next half double crochet, two half double crochets in the next chain space, half double crochet in the next half double crochet, two double crochets in the next chain space, and then form the corner in the next stitch. Repeat the sequence until you have all four sides completed. When you get to the end, join with a slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning chain eight. You'll have four corners, 24 double crochets, and 28 half double crochets in this round. Now to get to round seven, you're going to slip stitch into the corner space and chain two which in this case does not count as a stitch. 
you're going to make a cluster 3, which is the same as a cluster 2, except you're adding one more double crochet that's not complete. So make a double crochet and pull through the first two loops. Don't complete it. Make another double crochet and pull through the two loops. Don't complete it. And make one more pull through the two loops and don't complete. Yarn over and pull through three loops and yarn over and pull through the last two loops. That's a cluster three. Chain two, work another cluster three in the same space. Now chain five. Work another cluster three in the same space. Chain two and work one more cluster three in the same space. You now have a corner for this round. Chain three, skip three stitches, and you're going to work a double crochet in between the third and fourth stitch. Not in the stitch, but in between the two stitches. Chain three again, skip three stitches, and work a double crochet in the next half double crochet. Chain three, skip three stitches, and work a double crochet in the space between the 10th and 11th stitch of the previous round. Chain three, skip the last three stitches and repeat from the corner. Work a cluster three, chain two, another cluster three, Chain five, another cluster three, chain two, and one more cluster three. The next corner is complete. Now chain three, skip three stitches, work a double crochet between the third and fourth stitch, chain three, skip three, work a stitch in the next half double crochet, chain three, skip three, work a double crochet in between the tenth and eleventh stitch, chain three, skip the last three, and start from the corner once again. Repeat this all the way to the end. And when you get to the end, slip stitch to the very first cluster three. You will have 16 cluster threes, 12 double crochets, and 16 chain three spaces, plus eight chain two spaces and four corner spaces for this round. To get to round eight, you must slip stitch across till you get to the corner. Chain two, which does not count as a stitch, and then start the corner sequence again. Cluster three, chain two, Cluster three, chain two, 
chain five, another cluster to three, chain two, and one more cluster three, all in the corner. And your corner is made. Now chain two and skip the next two cluster stitches. Make three double crochets in each of the chain three spaces and one double crochet in each double crochet all the way up to the next corner. When you get to the first two cluster threes of the next corner, chain two and skip them and then start your corner sequence in the chain space. Cluster three, chain two, cluster three, Chain five, cluster three, chain two, and one more cluster three. Repeat the sequence for all the remaining sides. When you get to the end of the round, slip stitch to the top of the very very first cluster stitch. At the end of this round you'll have 16 cluster threes, 60 double crochets, 16 chain two spaces, and the four corner spaces. For round nine we're going to chain one and single crochet in the top of the cluster three. Single crochet in the chain two space, and single crochet in the top of the next cluster. In the next chain space, make two single crochets, chain two, and two more single crochets to establish the corner. Single crochet in the top of the cluster, one single crochet in the chain two space and a single crochet in the top of the cluster. Now make two single crochets in the next chain space. And single crochet in each stitch to the next chain two space. Work two single crochets in the chain two space and then start your sequence again with one single crochet in the top of the cluster, one single crochet in the next chain space, one single crochet in the top of the cluster, two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets in the corner, single crochet in the top of the cluster, single crochet in the next chain space, single crochet in the top of the cluster. Two single crochets in the next chain two space, single crochet in each stitch to the next chain two space.
single crochet in the last chain two space, and then repeat the sequence to complete all four sides. And when you get to the end, join with a slip stitch to the very first stitch of the round. At this point, you'll have 116 single crochets and four corner spaces. Fasten off, and we'll be joining color one again for the next round. For round 10, join the new color in any corner chain two space. Chain one, and then single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in the same corner. Single crochet in each stitch to the next corner. Repeat the sequence to the end and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. Now that you've got round 10 completed, you should have 124 single crochets and four chain spaces. For round 11, we'll be joining color three. Join any corner chain space, chain two, which counts as a half double crochet, and make two more half double crochets in the same space. The center half double crochet will count as the corner going forward. Now chain one, skip one stitch, and half double crochet in the next stitch. You'll do this 15 times. When you have your 15 repeats, and you're at the end, chain one, skip the last stitch, and work three half double crochets in the corner chain space. The center stitch will be your new corner. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in the next stitch 15 times. And then repeat the sequence all the way to the end. When you get to the end, join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. At the end of this round, you'll have 72 half double crochets and 64 chain one spaces. Join color two in any corner stitch. Chain two, which counts as a half double crochet, and work two more half double crochets in the same stitch to form the corner. Chain one, skip one stitch, and half double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip a stitch, and half double crochet in the next chain one space. Repeat this to the corner. When you get to the corner, chain one, skip one stitch, and work three half double crochets in the center stitch of the corner. Repeat this sequence for each corner all the way around, and join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. You will have 76 half double crochets and 68 chain one spaces when you complete this round. Fasten off your color, and for round 13, we'll join color three. 
Join the color in any corner. Chain two, which counts as a half double crochet, and work two double cro two half double crochets in the same corner stitch. Repeat the sequence as for round 12. Working a half double crochet in each chain one space with a chain one in between. At the end of round 13, you'll have 80 half double crochets and 72 chain one spaces. You'll fasten off the color and you'll join color one for round 14. Join color one in any corner stitch, chain one and work three single crochets in the corner to form the new corner. Now work two single crochets in each chain one space to the next corner. When you get to the corner, work three single crochets in the corner stitch and then continue working two single crochets in each chain two space all the way around, repeating the sequence. When you get to the end of the round, join the round and fasten off the color. You'll have 156 single crochets at the end of round 14. For round 15, you'll join color two in any corner. Chain five, which counts as a double crochet in a chain two, and then double crochet in the same stitch to form the new corner. Double crochet in each single crochet to the next corner. When you get to the next corner, work a double crochet, chain two and double crochet, and then double crochet in each single crochet all the way around. Join the round, and you'll have 160 double crochets plus four corner spaces. For round 16, slip stitch into the corner chain space, chain one, and work three single crochets in the corner. For the rest of this side, you'll be working in the back loop only, single crochet in each stitch to the next corner. You'll see that working in the back loop only creates the decorative ridge in the last round. The square is now completed and may be used as is, but we're going to be adding the circle of life braid around the fifth round of this square. You'll be working in the half double crochets that you made in round five. With color three, join in any half double crochet with a slip stitch. Chain 11, and make a loop by slip stitching in the first chain that you made. Now chain 3, working towards the next half double crochet. Slip stitch around the bar of the next half double crochet and chain 11. Slip stitch in the first chain and you have your second loop. Chain 3, and now work around the post of the next half double crochet.
and you see you have one loop for each half double crochet. Work in this format until you have one half double crochet left. When you have just one and a half double crochet left, work a slip stitch around it and chain 11. But this, this time, don't slip stitch in the first chain. Instead, pull your yarn through and leave a long tail. You may thread your tapestry needle and then you can start working the braid. To work the braid, take the second loop and slip it through the first loop, then take the third loop and slip it through the second loop, and so on, slipping each successive loop through the previous one. You may do this by hand or you can use a larger crochet hook to pull the loops through if you find that easier. Once you get to the last loop, pull the yarn needle through the last loop that you have and pull the chain 11 through. Now working under the loop of the first loop that you made, pull your yarn through with the chain 11 and then go back down through the middle of the last loop that you created to close the chain 11. Pull it securely and smooth it out. And you have a completed braid. At this point, turn it to the back side and secure it in place, and then you can weave your ends in later on. And there you have it the Circle of Life square. I hope you've enjoyed this square and hope you find lots of projects to use it with. Thank you for joining.